and I try to just level up myself. That's the reason why I started editing my content. That's the reason why I started doing my thumbnails a certain sort of type of way before everybody started fucking stealing them. Everybody and their mom got a... And I, I try, I ask God to just keep my spirit humble because I don't want nobody to miss out on their money or nothing like that, but God damn, it fucking sucks when you work so fucking hard to separate yourself just for a motherfucker to come look at your shit and just steal everything that you do. And then get hit with a YouTube message that's, you know, pretty much, not in this particular case, but then get hit with a YouTube message that's pretty much saying I'm reusing content. Not the, uh, you know, reacting to fear use reuse content. Man, I, I worked so fucking hard. You guys, I was literally getting ready to my motherfucking house. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you for tuning in. So this seems to be, it'd be an uptick in big channels being demonetized on YouTube. I think the most frustrating part of it is that a lot of these content creators don't understand exactly why. YouTube is not giving them a clear cut reason. You said this on your video, we don't like it. It's against our guidelines, so we are demonetizing you. But a lot of these YouTubers have no idea. Um, fresh and shit, I mean, fresh and fit, my bad. They were demonetized recently. Um, and I don't think most of us are sad about that. <laughs> Actually, we're surprised that it took this long for them to get demonetized. And if you don't know who they are, um, and you go check out their stuff, you'll understand why. But this young man, he's not too controversial to me. Some of his topics may seem a bit controversial, but his reactions and the things that he says aren't that crazy or outlandish to where I would think they would demonetize him. I've watched two or three of his videos. They came up on my feed for whatever reason. And he's a young black male who is a conservative. Um, I know that he's a Trump supporter, so maybe he's a Republican, um, but he's also Christian but he also believes that the Obamas aren't who they say they are. So I think he's maybe juggling a lot and maybe hasn't necessarily found where he wants to be or maybe that is his niche and that's what he's sticking to. But um, they decided to take his channel and I kind of feel bad for him because the couple of things that I've watched, he hasn't been disrespectful too much. In my opinion, he's really just giving his opinion on things, which most of us are doing when we're on uh, these YouTube streets. So for me, it's, it's, it's a little worrisome only because I'm gonna start downloading and uploading more videos and I hope to get as much traction as him one day. And if my channel is demonetized, I don't know what I would do. But the one thing that I did hone in on when he was speaking and after he started to shed some tears was that he was about to buy his mom a house and a lot of people may feel some kind of way about that I mean he was about to buy his mom a house oh man he had big plans you know he also mentioned that he was having some construction done in his home that needed to be done he'd been in the home for two years and hadn't fixed it up so he had contractors coming in um and so uh, the fact that he wants to buy his mom a house is the one thing why his money was taken away from him. You know, God wants us to be good stewards of our money. And I'm not saying that his mom doesn't deserve for him to buy her house. She's probably a lovely woman and probably did the best that she could. But there was a reason why this happened. You know, there, there's got to be a reason why. And a lot of times... The things that we do in our lives not only affect us directly, but they affect the people that are the closest to us. And this is just a theory. It's a theory that maybe his mom didn't deserve that home. And God wasn't going to allow for him to use the money that he worked so hard for to purchase his mother a home because it's possible that that could lead to many other issues in the future. 
God could be sparing him and he has no idea. But being good stewards of your money is something that God wants us to do. And that is when we are blessed more abundantly in a monetary fashion when we are good stewards of the money that he blesses us with. But he did say something that I was hoping he would say. Check it out. I'm thinking about the revenue that for the next three months which is really a stretch to say god is good i don't know what he got in store for me i just know it's hard man i don't i don't, I don't know what i've done in the spiritual realm you know, what lesson he's trying to teach me right now, I don't know. I just know I'm terrified. Man, if I'm being honest with y'all, I'm genuinely terrified. I don't need to make $60,000 every month. You know, that's not what I'm over here crying and then crying about. It's not what needs to happen. The fact that you can just take my livelihood just like that and don't even give me come on man you too we making y'all making too much money how are you reviewing the content and saying hey we reviewed it and we've determined that this is the issue but you can't tell me what the hell the issue is does that make sense Yo, he ain't lying about YouTube makes money. I mean, they make billions of dollars off of our content and those ads that they're able to capitalize off of, you know? Um, so I feel him on that. But one thing that he did say that I was so glad and grateful that he stated, you know, to remain humble and that he still has faith in God. You know, things like this happen to us a lot of times and we tend to lose faith he still has his faith and that i'm very proud of him for because it says it in the bible that we're supposed to uh give thanks always and for everything to trust god the father so we give thanks always and in everything it also says become more Christ-like by seeking to learn through suffering rather than searching for an escape from it. I literally just learned this in church last Tuesday. <laughs> so this was right on par, you know. Um, God does not make things happen to us. That's one thing we have to be clear about. God does not bring about turmoil and turbulence in our lives. He will allow it though. And when he does, it's because there's something we have to learn. Something that we have to learn. And I think me seeing things happen around me, I feel like God is preparing me mentally and spiritually to be let down because I'm seeing the strength in other people. You know, God wants the best for us. And when things don't go in our favor, we have to know that it still is in our favor because you learn from it and you get stronger and you get better. And I really hope uh, King Blitz gets his monetization back and that things work out for him. Huh? And I hope that he's able to figure out what he's possibly doing in the physical world the worldly world, not necessarily the spiritual realm, but this realm right here on earth, what it is that he needs to learn. It may have been too soon for him to get that $60,000 check because there's no telling what he may have ended up doing. He may have had intentions on buying his mother a home, but anything could have happened. So I truly believe that God is sparing him from something deeper and it will be revealed. Every time I've been told no from God up above, later, I'm so blessed that later he showed me. Ah, that's what you were protecting me from. Happens every time, every time. 
Ajá. Ajá. So, blessings to you, King Blitz. I hope everything works out for you, brother. Leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about this video. Have you guys ever came upon losing a large bag and then possibly losing your faith for a little bit and then came back around? Or if you don't have faith in God at all, what do you believe in? I want to know what people are thinking out here. What do, you, what, do you, what do you do to get by? Who do you lean on? Do you lean on yourself? Do you lean on the God within to get you through? Who do you call on? And if you were King Blitz, what would you do? You guys have any advice for him? I'm curious. All right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you.